Hello again, everyone. Yet again, we are uh, in the gardens at Clooney Hill. Things are relatively quiet still, but things are also springing up all over. No doubt you can hear the birds that are quite happily going about their business in all of the trees around here. The message that I'm going to read today is uh, it's from Dorothy McLean's book, Seeds of Inspiration. And really this is, it's from the preface of the book where she's starting to talk about how she came to be working with the intelligence of nature. And so these are, this message that I'm going to read today is actually from her own divine source, from the God within, as Dorothy would have framed it. The nature spirits and the spirits of the elementals do not have a birth, lifespan and death as humans do. They simply arise to meet a need, to fulfill a function, to undertake a purpose. Take the wind, for example, or a fire. When the life forces that comprise these elements are strong enough, and there is wind or fire, the spirits of the wind or the fire are present, born in that instant, to vanish from whence they came in the next instant. The spirits of the plants come out of the great store of life force for a purpose and then return to it when their purpose has been achieved. This makes our world sound very workaday one, only in existence for a purpose. That is so, and yet it is not so in the normal human meaning. Our work is our play. Our forces are vividly channeled in the present, and we are forever present. Even when we are not in manifestation, we are in the great stream of life force to some purpose. Our Creator and your Creator can quite easily always find a purpose for us, because life is meant to be enjoyed, to be lived, now we go back from whence we came, leaving this thought with you. Until the next time, bye for now.